Hi, Akash. Welcome to the Mashable Outreach. Hi, Siddharth. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What's going on? How are you? My actually a Netflix show ka post is going on. So that's been going on non-stop actually from the time that the lockdown began only. And in fact, the uh, work has been increased in that sense because now everything is remotely. Ho hai. So matab, editing was done before remotely hui, and uh, then after that, like now all the sound work is kind of happening. So there's a lot of coordination and I think stuff lands up taking longer than if we were just at a studio. And like I keep telling people that in this lockdown, the work has been finished in the lockdown. So now you're home and you have to work. So yeah. Three parts to this question. Have you had script narrations and how has it been different? Because I know it's a very ambiance led kind of feel, you know, the whole room lights up and a writer's kind of narrating and all of that. Yeah. It is the is the directing on 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 a hangout or a, on a Zoom call. And the next is the post part. So the three different legs of our whole life of production. Um, so the thing is, uh, I I haven't directed remotely. Uh, I haven't directed anything remotely as such. I know it's been done. I know friends uh, who've been guided in terms of direction and even cinematography when they're shooting at their own homes and stuff like that by a cinematographer. And I know that after the initial teething troubles, it actually kind of works out uh, quite all right. Uh, narrations, yes, certainly. uh have been happening and i and i do think that after a point because perhaps we don't have the choice to do it in a face to face scenario uh physically this is as face to face as it gets i do believe that even the listeners are willing to take that little leap of faith uh you know and kind of engage with you like right now i'm in this and i'm talking to you and and it is so much better than say a phone call or it is so much better and still very live meetings all of that is all working out rather well in this you know video call kind of sensibility uh and post actually is also working out really well i just feel that post uh, what's happening is that because this is all kind of new to us uh and because uh all of us suffer from internet problems uh and and network issues uh there's a there's a little drop in terms of accuracy and efficiency uh because you know it's not you're not present it's not happening in front of you you are kind of uh, uh always dealing with buffering and stuff like that and there are those um kind of uh, drawbacks uh that are there but having said that i think that um i think that it's marvelous that it's actually something that has been pulled off i mean when netflix told me we can complete our edit remotely and they were using some software where technically a screen sharing software but far more advanced i mean i was looking at my editor screen and 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 you know we were doing live changes and we were being able to see them right away at least there's been a proactive attempt to find solutions the one thing that i also really appreciate about you is the fact that there is a writer screenplay writer director as well as an actor all imbibed and a theater producer all put into one person so is it is it because you write yourself that you pay a lot of attention to your writing material and how much you would be doing like how many times would a draft get reworked upon till you perfect it i'm actually to be very honest not a very uh, uh you know too many drafts kind of guy and i think that i think that what happens is that uh, i like to kind of put in a lot of work before my very first draft itself so what happens is that my first draft usually is something that i'm quite happy with uh it is uh, it is very rare that uh, anything that i have worked on from its first draft to a final draft has been extremely drastic uh there have been of course uh, you know minor improvements and 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 reshuffling and all of that i like my first draft to be uh competent enough to excite me um yeah. when we started the whole mashable outreach initiative it was to understand yeah. what a post corona world would look like and right It's almost become like A C B C. It's like pre Corona and post Corona. Do you think that will figure into our writing and how we do what we write for cinema or theatre? Fortunately for writers, uh, the lockdowns been a very good period. Content creation in terms of the writing uh, of it. Uh, I think it is impossible to not be affected by this situation. The lockdown has started. We've actually been running this uh, Instagram page called A K V S Live, where we are doing weekly performances, right? and i am encouraging a lot of original writing on that one so people who have never written before are also writing stuff and performing it 
and 75% of it is stemming from what they are going through at this point of time because i mean this is a global phenomenon what is what gets bigger than this at this point of time i think what's going to be more important is that people are going to get bored of that and they're going to move on beyond that like you've got to stop writing about the the the, the pandemic and the lockdown because i mean i think we'll be kind of milking it dry uh, the situation by the time we get out of it which is okay it's a bit of a catharsis also you know when you're kind of sitting there and you're kind of creating stuff it's all uh, it's all connected in that sense so yes of course of course it is going to affect uh, sensibilities uh, of course it's going to affect something but i would assume uh, for a limited amount of time i do feel that content is also going to play a key part in kind of pulling us out of this uh, out of this frame of mind that we've gone into at this point of time so it's all cyclical i suppose but yes there is going to be a definite impact uh, and, and one impact i think is is going to be uh, there's going to be the birth of many more writers you are a equal percentage taskmaster as you are a fun super super fun person on set how do you sort of balance that, that kind of an attitude i've never got this taskmaster feedback before so that's good i suppose <laughs> i'm doing something right i suppose but uh, uh, yeah the thing is for for me uh, it's been this um, i think that from the beginning for me the moment uh, it stops being fun it starts feeling like a job and i've kind of run away from that most of my life uh, i did kind of start with you know corporate jobs and like you know a marketing career and all of that and and at some point in time it kind of you know stopped being fun the, the moment uh, stuff starts feeling like uh, ke kaam hai na then uh, wo main thoda dal jata hu usse so i think that for me uh, you know the the vibe or the mahol has to be very uh, uh, you know uh, pleasant and friendly and i think a lot of it comes from my theater background uh, so the thing is when you're doing theater a lot of people are actually there just because of you know the passion for the art form uh, you know for the love of it and uh, and the thing is for me then it becomes very important that that experience for people who are coming despite the fact that they're not necessarily you know uh, getting tangible rewards uh for them it has to be a very like fruitful and enjoyable experience so i think it's very important for me to keep the atmosphere pleasant it should be something that you want to wake up to and come to how are things going to be different because the physicality of the whole like your set at least i can talk about is has is like physical humor going on. i also did a couple of uh, home shoots uh i mean five to six crew members all together including cast and stuff like that and we've done that and of course those contained things are a little bit more uh you know in your control in that sense but it is a very scary environment i mean like we are at dubbing and and people are afraid to kind of hug you right i mean and and and, and probably rightly so i don't know i mean like you know i think one thing is that there nobody really has any answers but i do feel like i mean it's it's not going to be convenient at all that requires say 300 people that how do you control a situation like that and forget 300 people how do you do 60 people you know how do you do anything that needs you know, you know any kind of uh, background uh it's a it's a very complex and scary scenario definitely but yeah it, shooting doesn't look like uh, it's going to be as comfortable or as much fun for some time right now and uh, i guess we'll only know once we are on a set whether uh, it pays off or not you know i mean i keep seeing instagram stories of people who are back on shoot saying uh, just so thrilled to be back on shoot despite all of this but i'd like to see how long it lasts uh, you know how long that little before the bubble bursts uh, of having to be sweating inside a suit uh, you know while you're trying to get your job done so yeah tell me this you work with new talent in the in the recent past uh both mithla and project and well mithla has done a bunch of work before karwan how was how is it working with these like raw talents or like they just i think that i've had plenty of experience in that because of the theater uh we are constantly working with young people in the theater who are actually uh, and a lot of them are not even coming from a very basic acting background you know like at least for me when i when prajakta and mithila kind of came into my lives in terms of you know working uh, they had a significant amount of uh, uh, experience in the sense that they were not camera shy they had kind of you know they they had a certain amount of experience uh, mithila had of course done some theater and you know she had done little things and stuff and had also 
had happened uh, you know the first season by then and she had done stuff i mean and projector i mean is in front of the camera all the time uh, in that sense so uh, in so they were they were they were more experienced than a lot of people that i've had to deal with in the theater in the theater i've had like you know kids from business families or you know people who are like uh, actually like lighting engineers or uh, just uh, you know production people who decided that they want to kind of give it a shot or we put them in a situation where we had to direct them because of a certain restriction and and so for me uh, i actually like that i really like uh, so at one end of the spectrum i really like the fact that these are clean slates or blank canvases or you know don't yeah don't have any kind of uh, uh, preconceived notions about the process you know and are hungry to learn so it's it, they're, they're so much more malleable uh, in that sense so for me i i i i love that i find that very enjoyable all right thank you so much for talking uh, thanks sudha thank you for having me man